Hey guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Thanks for coming back to the show. We missed you. Good to see you. All my ALN fans, what are we calling you? The Rabies? The Adam Rabies? That, nope, not that. We'll figure it out. Uh, appreciate you guys being here supporting the show. If you want to keep supporting it, of course, subscribe. Click that subscribe button in the bottom right corner and then immediately click the bell so you can get notifications when new content drops, highlights, animations, all that good stuff. Comment on the videos, share them with your friends and families and strangers, and uh, just enjoy all the, the goodies that are coming your way. All right? Great episode today. Let's get into it. Joish. Hey, it's Herbert. Mm-hmm. And you're listening to the About Last Night podcast, you slippery little son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, dude, are you just tired of like looking into the camera or seeing yourself oh, that's on camera? Actually, um, no, not really. I mean, right answer. It's, by the way, yeah, dude. yeah. It, I mean, like you tell me, how much have you been on TV, stage, and screen? Well, I think up until the farm. Oh man, um, a, a good amount. You know, of course, I want. You know, of course, I want to do more. Yeah. I mean, I just love telling stories in general. Yeah. Um, but like, how much have you been on? the tube oh, prior uh, to getting uh state farm and being oh now is definitely way more than right. before like everything else i did before was so scattered you yeah. know where yeah. it's just like you're going job after job yeah sometimes and, even uh, years apart people don't realize you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh and you're just kind of doing whatever you're just being like all right today i'm this guy or i'm this guy yeah and this is something that's so consistent as well as super close to me like i remember going into the audition and uh and just, you know, reading the the sides that we had to do and wanting it to be, you know, close to me or what I what I thought it was. Yeah. I also that I can't lie, that was a little bit of ignorance. I wasn't thinking like, oh, I'm about to play this. I was yeah. more so like, oh, this guy seems like he's like this. Like I would want it to be, you know, this. How would I talk to a family member, a close friend or whatever? You know, we're doing like uh, our first spots were uh back in the office and like jake is there you know he's on the other cubicle so it's like oh, okay cool he's like the new employee you yeah know? yeah yeah and he's right there with a guy he knows so he's like oh like what do i do like guide me you know so you and, had a good uh, amount of context for that first audition yeah 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 uh it was that and then uh we did like a bachelor spot and it was basically just you know him helping a guy over some heartbreak so it felt very like okay that's kind of how i feel you know, uh, in the game of coming to LA too, you yeah. know, where it's just like, there's a lot of things I need to learn and, and know, you know, doing theater is different than film in a way. And like, I don't know, it just, it, it felt very at home. There, there are of course times where I was just like, I don't think I'd nail that at all, you know? And, really? and then there's like, oh no, thanks, it came bud. great. Oh, thanks man. Um, people don't realize too. And this is, this will be a great, and you know, this will just be one thing we touch on, but like the commercial audition world, I mean, you know, I did it enough to be able to speak about it. You uh, probably got into a, a healthier, like, consistent grind of where, like, you know, out here there's so many things to be able to tackle, right? Acting, voiceover, mm-hmm. stand-up, sketch, improv, right. um, commercial, uh, dance. Uh, you know, there's just – it's uh, there's no shortage of, um, of opportunities and just avenues to take, right? Right. And – I felt like, at least for me, uh, you know, it was uh, the commercial auditioning was another grind that uh, you got to like be fully into and on, mm-hmm. and committed to and on board with. And having three to four to five hours to if you're going to Santa Monica, I need to get all the way back to Hollywood or north of Hollywood that that might be a big chunk of your day. And you got to oh, leave yeah. at a certain time. And if oh. you don't have a car, you got to figure out how to get over there and maybe just stay there. And if, because if the only way you could get there was to get a ride, but it was mm-hmm. super early, then you're like, oh, shit, I'm there at 10. My thing's not till two, but I'll find a, I'll find ways to keep busy and mm-hmm. then do that. Uh, so that that just became something where I was like, all right. Uh, I'm going to put that time into like stand up and sketch and maybe voiceover. Cause I got to a point to right. where I was like, man, I'm, uh, 
and I want to know how many of these you were going for, going out for when you first got into it, where oh, you yeah. were like, oh, I feel like they're picking wallpaper. Like, I can't really do too much to separate myself because it's like yeah. a, it's a guy who's maybe just given a look or versus this where I felt like you could really bring a lot of you to it, right? Yeah. How many of those were you doing when you first got going? Um, I mean, a ton. Like, yeah. I, I, I definitely made it where... For me, being out here, you know, I was food running for a while too. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh so man. You, that was and so it, right to LA. That was your grind. Yeah, yeah, and there were no agents that wanted me. You know, what I mean, there was. It was like, I got there. I was like, oh man, okay, I got the BFA. Like, I've got a, a, yeah. a degree from my own arts high school. Whoa. Like, I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. You know, and then you know, coming to LA, it was like nobody cares, you know, or, or wants you. And uh, and so it just kind of made me feel like, all right, I've got to prove myself. Like I've got to, you know, l learn the new format. Mm. I've got to uh, 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 make myself available for those times. So I didn't last very long at that, you know, food running gig, but commercials in a way kind of saved me because I could submit myself, you know? And oh, really? um, yeah, I would submit for myself a lot. And uh Dina Buglioni, like DB Casting, I'll give this shout out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she would bring me in a lot, and uh, and you know, whenever I got to the callback, she would talk to the clients or the, or the directors and really hype me up there too. Whoa, you know, to give me my first bookings that made me feel as if, you know, I was doing something. Like you don't want to be an actor and do nothing. Right. You know, it's it's kind of like you know you, you got to take it how you get it. You know, and. Uh, so yeah, so after that, I was just like, oh, that's kind of the move and it's quick enough and the schedule can be flexible enough that I can do other things to also pay my bills, yeah. you know? And then I just kind of got on a road or on a roll. Like, um, yeah, there was one day I had, like my craziest day was seven auditions in a day. What like, the yeah, fuck? two in of those one spot? Were theatrical. No. no, 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 no. These are all different spots. These are all different commercials. And they were all around town. Do you have so a car? one was, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. Right? That was the first thing fuck. I got when I got here. Yeah. yeah. And I literally had to schedule it out where I was like, okay, so for this one, I'm going to be like 15 minutes early because if I get out of there, it's in Santa Monica and I need to go to Culver City for the next one. Oh so, like, it was like God. Culver City, North Hollywood, Santa Monica, LA. <laughs> it was like, and then across in LA. So, I scheduled my whole day and didn't put like eating in there at all so yeah so Why halfway in i was like all right man i need to be late for this next one because i'm getting dizzy driving yeah. oh, you know yeah. it's like that was the the craziest thing this is um, where i hear my mom's voice in my head which is always like you need to put like some cliff bars or yeah. something in the back which yeah, is not yeah. wrong and she'd always like do that and i was like stop fucking telling me what to do yeah type doesn't of look attitude. cool me having cool to prep food you know what i <laughs> mean like yeah. i'm gonna get that shit on the go yeah you know what what somebody mean? buy me food i, I want to struggle through you know <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so, but no you need it yeah yeah it's a very adult thing it's a, pr a veteran pro adult thing oh yeah so, dude um but yeah, they were just crazy. But I mean, I, it really helped me to at least feel like I was in a groove and not out here and 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 getting down on myself. You know, when you're not doing anything and just taking classes, those are the hardest days because you're just like, ah, oh, I see everyone booking and like, what do I do? Dude, those you know? are the hardest days and those are the days that are like the most instrumental in all of this. Yeah. Because it's all the shit that you do, uh, you know, and even to now, right? Just keeping, I mean, you know, some would argue like, all right, you get in this gig now. It's not easy street because now you're like, all right, now like, you know, I'm going to get some more opportunities from the exposure and yeah. everything. So now it's even more challenging to just stay yeah. on my game and yeah. like make sure I'm picking the right things. And then I'm and then I'm just doing the right things on and off the field to keep the gig going. And yeah, then yeah. and then if other things come up like that can might conflict like that, I really want to do mm. like what's that going to look like? Yeah. But all that groundwork, it's like. I remember, and you can speak to this, Chicago, right? Where you grew up? Chicago, yeah. How many people uh, up until now, and even when you got TV uh, or, or uh, gigs of, of note prior to this, you know, for me it was like, until they saw me on anything, they were just like, so you're still doing comedy? And this would be like five, mm. six years in, you know? Yeah. Not on TV, movies, anything like that yet. And they're like, I haven't seen your special. You're like, well, no, it's like five, five, I'm five years in. It's going to take a beat, man. You're like, oh, cause it's, but you're doing it? Well, yes, because there's like, it's, you know, just like anything, you got to put in the work. Oh, yeah. yeah, but like, but you're, but because they just don't know what that looks like. So yeah. I'm, I'm doing like these open mics, I'm doing these shows, I'm interning at this casting office. I'm just kind of trying to put my feet in all the pools. And, and yeah, it's going to, you know, who knows when it'll pop? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Fucking, well, good luck with that. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that you didn't make it yet. No, uh, yeah, again, no, yeah, yeah. and it's a uh, fucking, it's a grind. And this, you know, this is why I see you once a year, Greg. But you know, 
Um, <laughs> hey, I've got people now that are just like, so when are you going to do movies, man? And I'm like, man, wow, dude, that's I just, hilarious. dude, it's so funny. <laughs> like, look, I am, uh, I'm trying, okay? Yeah, <laughs> like, I know, so right? It's, uh, I mean, it's a process, like, and you really genuinely don't know your own journey. So, yeah. I don't know, I'm just kind of in a, a, a mode where, you know, I, uh, I've got enough credits even before you know the the Jake gig Good. that makes me feel as a veteran for commercials. Cool. But I also have very little credits for everything else, so mm. I'm still curious and learning how to be better. Yeah. You know, and I'm glad that I'm there to be honest. Like I'm glad that I still have the curiosity of of wanting that day where I see myself and I'm just like, wow, good job, Kev. You know, and that can. I, I, I could be 68 when that happens, yeah. you know what I mean? Which is also exciting too, to be like, man, I can keep growing all the way to the end, oh, yeah. you know? Um, what an advantage too, but, to have a gig where you are getting to act, by the way. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. there's there's commercial. Every day, like. Right? Like every day I get to flex the something. muscle all the time. Yeah. And, and not only just the flex muscle of being on set, but like yeah. um, working with people that you, you know may or may not look up to. Mm-hmm. like, And so having to deal Control your emotions on that. There's so much mm. just shit on set yeah. that is like, <laughs> you can't teach until you do it, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Take me back to Chicago. So you're um, you're what age when you're just like, what's the first thing you see entertainment business-wise, cartoon, comedy, that you're like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Like, what is that all about? How do I do that? Um. So the first thing I saw that I really enjoyed was... Uh, uh, Really, the Godfather. My dad. My dad yeah. and I. I know, right? I'm like a By the way, eight just, year old, nine year old kid. I just saw this, it. all. All of the Godfather, really? The first one, yeah. Oh, oh. When I was quarantined in Australia, my dad was like, "If I die before <laughs> you haven't seen the fucking Godfather, it's a Godfather. father movie, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. A father wants to show their son this mobster family um, movie. I was of like, course. Dad, I saw Love and Basketball three times <laughs> in the theaters, He's which like, is just as good. I mean, so. in its own right. It <laughs> yeah, is. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, number two is my favorite. Um, you know. Uh, uh, Robert De Niro plays a phenomenal veto, but uh, but yeah, it was really that. And I think honestly, when I piece it together this last year, I've really been able to piece you know my why together. You yeah. know, there's there's certain moments where I'm sure you've even had it where you get like a little like bump and you're like, oh yeah, and oh, yeah. you got like a second of championship fatigue where yeah. you're just like, cool, well, like everything's all good, and then you're just like. Man, I feel like I haven't worked in a while. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, it's been four days. You're yeah. like, oh crap. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want it to die. Yeah. Uh, but um, but yeah, no. So it was really that. And honestly, the 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 coming togetherness, I think, really inspires me to do good stories or, or stories in that light, you know? Where the coming togetherness feels, of the Godfather? Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, the, I want to be a mobster. Oh, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all no, the, 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 the family aspect of it. Like, yeah. I just remember my father and I getting, like, there was a place uh, uh, we would just get pizza and eat, you know, horrible foods and watch The Godfather together, you wow. know? And it would just be like, man, look at this scene. Because he already saw it, of course. Yeah. So he's like extra amps, like, look at this. You know, it's Marlon Brando, it's Al Pacino. Breaking like, it these, down for you. These are all these greats, you know? And then from there, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about times where uh, w- when we were kids, my sister and I would have like these like sleepovers in the house where it would just be us and we would, I mean, it all goes back to pizza, I'm realizing. It does, dude. You know what I mean? Pizza is the As well as it should. Goat. Yeah, exactly. Dude, pizza is, <laughs> that's, dude, if even the kids that you're not even friends with, you yeah. became friends with them over pizza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's just the day. It's a great equalizer. Those blockbuster nights are missed heavily. Dude, do you remember the pizza commercial with the kid? He was like, it was when pizza was giving away like basketballs and it was, hey, punk, yeah, yeah, want yeah, a yeah, game? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I wanted uh, to be that kid just to get the ball so bad. <laughs> do you remember going out? to Pizza Hut and being like, I'm gonna, we're ordering pizza here. We're sitting down. You're asking this a former restaurant. fat kid if he didn't <laughs> remember. Dude, likewise, per, personal likewise. pan pizzas, baby. Yeah, 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 likewise. Oh I mean, my God. Giordano's, of course, is the- In Chicago? Goat for me. Yeah, oh, really? yeah, yeah, that's Southside Pizza. But uh, I just feel like, I don't know, yeah, I just, pizza and movies to me and, yeah. and that family aspect, yeah. like I've always wanted to make movies just like that. and. Um, even a, even my uncle Frank, he he would bring in like film noir, so he'd be like, "Here's Lawrence Olivier," whoa. and like, "Here's like the Maltese Falcon." So, all of my things when I was a kid were these like super heavy movies, yeah. you know. And then for me alone, I'd watch like anime, where I'm, where in a way it's just like a grittier Americanized cartoon. Totally. You know? I mean, they're Japanese, but so big family. 
Uh, we're really small. Yeah. Like, it's really just the four of us. I mean, now I just got a nephew, so. Oh, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna yeah. love that, man. He's cool. Ah, yeah, it's, it's inspiring, too. It makes me want to be like, oh, let me really build on this so yeah. when he can remember things oh yeah it's like he's like oh that's the cool uncle and i'm like yeah what's up man yeah, yeah. i wasn't even thinking about you but like now i'm thinking about you and i've yeah. just been cool like, oh yeah it's the i'm best. over here like grind so you can be cool no what i've gained out of the uh uncle game is like it's been a great when i go home to seattle i just put all it's my break from the grind in the business mm-hmm. obviously there's things that are always going to keep you busy wherever you are but of course but i'm able to like go up there and be like all right cool i'm going to Take them out for the day, whether it's the park or swimming somewhere, even just like kicking it and trying to do something that's keeping them off their uh, their gadgets. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but it is also it makes me understand why people are having kids because it's like you know now they're the girls uh, twins are eleven, nephew six, and just to kind of like get on their level and it's just like an immediate takes you back to that time mm, and like showing yeah. Harry and the Hendersons is my nephew's favorite movie uh, not because he believes in Bigfoot and thinks it's based on a true story you fucking psychos out there I don't know if you believe in Bigfoot we can put a pin in this story <laughs> I look I want to believe in the idea of Bigfoot but hey man I always want to believe in the idea yeah uh, dude again guess what I do I want yeah. to believe that fucking John Lithgow uh, is a, there's a guy out there who actually did hit a fucking Bigfoot but yeah, yeah. I mean if we would have found him we would have found him but then I also play devil's sure. advocate and go well look at the show finding Bigfoot on A&E, those are the guys that we're trusting with the tools necessary of actually tracking them down. These mm-hmm. guys that are like, you know, look like they got nothing but time and that somebody <laughs> like told them there was a lot of money at stake. Yeah, yeah. Like it's some sort of, um, you know, rat race show. But um, <laughs> I digress. But, the, but being around kids definitely like... I don't know, man. It's a nice boost of like yeah. keeping your kid alive, which yeah. I feel like you got a shit ton of, dude. Even yeah. when we met just hooping, it was like you're out there smiling, just fucking, which I feel like is always, is that kind of synonymous with who you are? Yeah, really. I mean, yeah. I I, uh, I don't know. It's, it's so interesting, too, how much um, I, I can feel sometimes some people want me to be you know, different from what they see me as. And I'm like, honestly, it's the closest to who I am as well as like the energy I love to mm. get, you know? Like, yeah. oh man, even though I would love to play a role like, you know, Joffrey or whatever, yeah. I feel for that kid now that I'm seeing how just people react, how they see you, you know? Knowing that they go up to that kid being like, I hate you yeah. with all of my soul. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, oh, like yeah. every day growing up, that's I so know. hard. People are like, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, hey, what's up, man? You know, and I mean, I, I love that every day, really. Um, but I've just kind of always, uh, you know, I, I wanted that, you know? I think all of us have had, you know, hard times in our lives and stuff too. And the older I get, I can also see a lot of things that, you know, my parents went through. I see you, you, our friends that yeah. grow up, we grow up with our friends. You see the good and the bad that happens, just life in general. And, you know, I, things are always hard. I'd rather, I'd rather give some positivity and just, you know, have that energy around than anything else, to be honest. Who you kind know? of instilled that? on you or was it just kind of my dad i was a really shy kid you know yeah (laughs) i was a shy kid always and i was really quiet and so my dad was (laughs) every now and again he'd be like it's kind of weird that you're like this quiet (laughs) and i'd be like it is (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. but i mean you don't fucking talk a lot yeah 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 yeah. and uh (laughs) but uh my dad has always been like you know my um like like my dad, my my best friend, you know? So just that relationship, I just kind of grew into being like, hey, what's up? And like, my yeah. dad's also kind of like that too. And He's a real just chummy, like, like personal yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we really try to stay away from the drama. <laughs> you know, we yeah. just want to just keep everything like light, cool, yeah. work hard, and then just, you know, and enjoy those times together, you know? And, and you know, have, have deep conversations about, I don't know, he's, he's a, a heavy reader, so mm. he loves to be like, read this book. And oh, like, wow. Oh, crap. Okay, now I gotta read the book. You got fucking homework. Yeah, 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 got homework. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what sort of books are you trying to get you up on? Oh man. Um, I mean, they're they're really good like self help books, you know. Yeah. So he's had me read, of course, like Ten Laws of Power, The Alchemist, mm. uh, Rich Man in Babylon, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, uh Who Moved My Cheese. Like a lot Whoa, of he loves like a lot of is business wise wow. stuff like that. He he loves like self help things, like all of my life, you know, which when I was a kid reading it, I mean you're a kid so you're just like okay cool like i'll think about that like yeah. taxes like 10 percent for yourself you yeah. know and rereading it as an adult you're more like wow thanks for like i mean it was boring at the time but like thank you so much for always being real with me you yeah. know and and asking me to ask more of myself interest level wise yeah 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 and i mean 
he just kind of just, I mean, that's just kind of who he is. And uh, I'm glad, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to get that. You know, I know a lot of people don't get that. And I'm very thankful for him like that. And, you know, my mom is just a, a workaholic. So yeah. I feel like I got that part from her too. Yeah. My sister took all the genius, I'll be honest. She's like <laughs> so smart. It's oh, really? like, oh, it's painful, <laughs> you know? I know, right? When you're just like, it's fuck, how like, does your brain work like yeah, that? I'm you know just not I mean? that quick. Like, goodness gracious. I mean, I do come from a family of readers, but I can tell like me reading plays is not, you know, as intense as my sister reading like all of Lord of the Rings I in know, like right? a week, you know, and the, being like, I fluently speak Elvish. You're just like, man, I, what? Like, oh, fuck. I didn't even pass like Spanish 101. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're speaking words picker. that don't exist. <laughs> yeah. Like, where are you going to use That's that? You know, so funny. it's like so wild, you know? Yeah. Wait, so your dad then must have been losing it where he's like, dude, how are you the shy kid, but you have no problem mixing it up with fucking Drake? <laughs> yeah. Right? I mean, well, nowadays, I mean, I it it's so funny. I was able to um, uh, uh, spend Thanksgiving with him this year, even okay. though like everything was kind of yeah. locked. I brought him on set too, which was his first time on set. I didn't realize that what it was his was first that? time on set with me. He's seen like plays and stuff, but I was very oh, glad definitely. that it was like all the stuff with Chris Paul. And like, is he a hoops fan? Uh, yeah. Oh man. I mean, come on, man. How Chicago in the not? '90s. He oh re- he is there for Michael Jordan. Oh you know what I mean? Every day that. he'd be like, "This man is greatness." <laughs> so I mean, yeah, it was just a basketball family. Like, love it so much. So even this is just like, ah, holy like, shit, dude. Incredible. That's like, extra. Oh yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Um, and so yeah, seeing him there was just cool because he was like, man, I thought like sets were you know five six people and a camera and then they just kind of do it for like an hour and you're done. I was like, wow, you thought I was working for an hour (laughs) every day? (laughs) Isn't that crazy? The perspective (laughs) of people so removed from the business is Mm -hmm. always so crazy to me where it's like, but but as well as it should be, they have nothing to base it off. You forget that you do it every day. So you're just like, wait, what? You don't, oh. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, yeah. No, it's uh <laughs> sometimes takes like eight, twelve hours. It could be, you wow. know what I mean. Sometimes the turnaround is like less. You might be like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's finish it. Let's do yeah. the work, you know. And you're doing take after take. You know, the the light could be wrong. You know, a plane or yeah. anything could happen. You know. And so, so he got more respect for just the whole experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. He was able to meet like. You know, Chris and everything. Did he fan out so. or was he just like very, try to be My cool My dad, dad loves to play it cool. Yeah, yeah. But inside he's like, ah. Yeah, dude. As long as he can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You appreciate that from the parent. You're like, I, yeah. that you're not being, even though you being on there and I'm sure, you know, you uh, obviously been on the set, but around like, you know, guys like that, you were cool. Oh, and yeah, comfy, yeah, yeah. But like, and so you're like, it's not wrong if my parent or whoever's with me <laughs> does do that. And Chris Paul obviously like has yeah. done enough shit to where, and, and if it's your dad, he's going to be extra cool already. Yeah, but. yeah. I mean, Chris is amazing. Like he immediately came up and was just like, this pops, you know, and he's just like, Dumb. wow, this is so great that like he would. He he knows me. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. He's like, like, "Dad, don't get hit." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows me. Dad, sit he in that chair you, yeah. over there, okay? <laughs> we got to be six feet apart right now. All right, you got a double mask up right now. <laughs> Chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but no, cool. yeah, it was great moments, and it, it was awesome. Even you know, being able to talk with them too, because you know, for me, you know, as a young guy, I'm just like, yeah, man there's gotta be more, you know? Like, yeah. oh, we'll get this and this, and and I see how I need to make things better, da, da, da. And he's like, it's so crazy. I remember you in your first steps. Like, you're still my boy, you Whoa, know? Yeah. So seeing you here, like, this is fine, you know? And I'm like, wow, that's crazy, because... Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, you watched my birth, Yeah, you know, yeah. To, to this today. Today's episode of the About Last Night podcast is brought to you by 5-4 Clothing and the Menlo House. If you know anything about me, you know that I like clothes. I love to buy them. I love to wear them. That's what they're for. And you only look good if you feel good, right? That's where 5-4 Clothing comes in. I've been fucking with 5-4 Clothing for years now. They got this company, Menlo House, that's got 5-4 New Republic Grand Running Club and Melrose Place all under the Menlo House banner. And it's a baller clothing company for dudes. They've got t-shirts, shirts, jackets, sweaters, jeans, pants, shorts, activewear, shoes, accessories, and more. And what you do is you give them your sizes, okay, your fit and your style, and they curate the perfect package for you and send it to you monthly. If you want to join the club, the Menlo Club Monthly, it's $59 a month, and you get over $240 worth of apparel. Again, it's the shit. There's other brands out there and companies that do this, but I only fuck with the Menlo House because... 
Well, they're the best. You know, the clothes always fit me perfectly, and I always get compliments on the jackets, the shirts, just got some new hoodies and pants, and they fit me to a T, and that's what you want in your clothes. So, got a special deal for you guys right now. If you go on over to themenlohouse.com, M-E-N-L-O house.com, and use the promo code 40MENLOALN, you're going to get $40 off your first month for your discount package, okay? $40 off the first month, and that includes the Arrowhead button-down plus the Cali Chinos and more. So go to themenlohouse.com, use the promo code 40MENLOALN, 40-M-E-N-L-O-A-L-N, and get $40 off your first month, all right? Start looking good and feeling good, and you can't do that unless you're in 5-4 Clover. Do but, they have trepidations about you moving out here? Because that, to me, is always such a... Yeah. Like, that was one of the first things that I remembered after meeting you when we hooped that, uh, that I had, like, a lot of initial respect for was that you moved out here. And I don't know why, because, you know, I moved out here for school, but still, like, knew, had one kind of cousin uh, that I... You know, still unfortunately don't see a ton, but it was like really being out here with nothing other than myself and my shit on my back and my bag and pillow to like in a city that, you know, I've put up on a big pedestal. And like, of course, even though I'm there for school and there's structure and I'm going to have a built in, uh, you know, um, structure to meet people and how my class are going to go. Still very intimidating. And so, you know, coming out here at all to to chase something, too, is Mm -hmm. just like. I don't know. I just like on a real deep guttural like level have such a respect for that because it takes a lot, man. Like there's yeah. and I'm sure we both know so many people that wanted to or still want to. Mm-hmm. I know people up in Seattle right now that that still talk about it. And I'm like, you know, and some of them might be past the time and have more um, elements that are going to make it tough to like relocate. Mm-hmm. But shit, dude, I don't know. It's like when you fucking want it, man, like and it's just like. You Jump don't have in. a plan B. You just you just figure it out. I know uh, that 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 entire Will Smith like compilation interview on YouTube. Yeah. That's he's the one that says don't have a plan B. You right? know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And you're just like, ah. but I, I I do thank that kid you know that moved out here eight years ago that took that leap because it's scary to think about even now I know. to to do that now. Yeah. It's just like. Like, and I remember that feeling, you know, and I remember the days when things weren't working out and, you know, you're having those like breakdowns in your car and you're just like, I don't even have a plan B. Like, I can't even. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I literally can't quit. Otherwise, I what am I going to do? What you know, fuck? I know you yeah, can't go back because you think about the yeah, letting yeah. yourself down, but letting the people down there. You know what I mean, I mean what, what your family would say, you know, what I mean, what I you like, would I say to yourself for the rest that. of your life. You know, I was always like, I cannot go home if I don't do yeah. this out here. So where yeah. am I going to go? Yeah, and and it gets to a point where you're just like, look, if I just do my best, I'll be satisfied with that. You know, of course, of course, I want the 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 the, I want it all. Of course, of course. But you know, after a while, it's just like, man. I mean, even if you were to get it all, what what comes the next day? Like, if you were to get best actor like three times in a row each year, you know, like. What do you do after that? Do you yeah. stop? Like, yeah. you know, so you can't even think about that now anymore, you know, and that's just age. Like, I feel like growing up and taking all those like rejections and failures where you're like, look, man, <laughs> if it comes, it comes. Yeah. But like, if not, then I'm just going to go as hard as I can every year harder, you know? Did you as take classes as, as soon as you got out here? Like, what was your prep? No, to- when I first got out here, I was belligerent. Like, yeah. cause you know, I, I got caught up. I, I was always taking classes. Yeah. Like I just left school. So I was like, Look, man, the last thing I want to do is take a, a acting class, yeah. you know, and then you got to acclimate to the new uh, mm-hmm. surroundings, too. right? Yeah. But uh, I. I got weirdly like lucky and shocked at the same time, yeah. but it was a great growing moment. So I was uh, so Matt, Right. Mm-hmm. I, I always heard when I first met Matt, I always Matty heard Rife. that Hollywood's Matt, Matt Rife. Rife. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Just look him up, or um, I don't know, look up any. <laughs> He's gonna have a special soon catalog. too, dude. Yeah, producing just himself, grinding, yeah, yeah, grinding uh, just all the right ways, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And and you have to. I think that you know, I'm also blessed to have a team like that, or just team of friends out here like yeah. that, where it just constantly oh, speak inspire to that each other for sure, know? dude. Yeah. That's getting to a point to where, and I don't know if this was always the case, but yeah, that's all also an unspoken thing of. Of Finding surrounding right yourself, people. oh man, that that not only push you creatively and aren't settling, mm-hmm. but that you know uh, keep you accountable, even if they're not directly calling you out on your shit. Because everyone's got their own path and lane and zone, 
and nobody should have to babysit anybody. Yeah. But it is cool if you, you know, are on a, a same uh, trajectory and, and striving for similar um, things that you want to achieve with people. Mm -hmm. Being in LA already, I feel like is so, and I felt this like two years after graduating, even talking to a guy at the mall working at a fucking juice stand who was just like, yeah, man, I'm just started. I'm in the third, just gotten a third level of groundlings. And I'm mm -hmm. like, and even that dude, I could take and like would somehow inspire me throughout the rest of the day to be like, fuck, you're just around this energy yeah. that everyone's going for it. And yeah. look, you can see through the fake it till you makers and that's- That in never any, works. That's right. in every business, but like there's a lot of people that truly are like, man, I will fucking die for this. Yeah. And so it's cool that you got a group. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. And, and there's some bookers in there. I've, I've even met, you know, people that, you know, are in their hard times. And I, I think about my first two years out here where that's what it was. It yeah. was just hard times of finding the rhythm, you know, LA traffic. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know, and well, just nobody like, ever gets used to that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's back and it's like, oh, it is back. It's Fuck. like Dude, 40 minutes to how get about those three miles. True COVID times of just <laughs> nobody out. Just like, sure, man, I'll, I'll meet you outside. Yeah, it's just so I'm gonna go get a, I'm gonna go get some cheese from the grocery store, but I'm gonna go to Santa Barbara and yeah. get it because it'll take me 15 fucking minutes because yeah, yeah. no one's outside. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a delicacy. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I know. Right? I'm not gonna go to this North Hollywood what store anymore for cheese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was talking oh, about. Oh, just having uh, a group around you. And, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sports system. Yeah, yeah. And um, Matt, I, I, you I, brought I was up Matt for some reason. Yeah, I for, and I forgot what all that was before. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, forgot it. Forgot it. You were really gonna deep dive into something, and I fucking. Well, it's okay, man. Friends are important. Matt, you and your and fucking muscles, dude. Just Matt, cloud my memory Matt, just like you do hey, every chick in Hollywood. Dude. Listen, Matt and I work out and Matt, he uh he's gotten good. At first, he wasn't he wasn't How the best. So? Uh so <laughs> in my workouts I've got like a uh uh, uh we do it no matter what. Yeah. You know? So even if it's just like, all right, we've got four sets of twenty. Even if we're like dying, it's like yeah. you got to finish your reps, yeah. you know. And so that's kind of how. At first, he'd be like, "I can't do this," and I'll be like, "I believe in you. Why don't you believe in you?" <laughs> and so Jesus, then he's like, dude. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> you know." And, but it, it, I mean, he does it now, and it's great. It's it's great to work out with him because, you know, he can sling it right back, and I'm like, oh, "You're so right. That's the rule," you know. So uh, gotta have I don't people know. to push you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You grow, and I think it's great, you know, just meeting everyone on the journey too. Because I first got out here, and there were some, there were some fake it to you makers, and yeah. you're like, okay, well, they're kind of doing something, but then you know, your discernment sets in, and you're just like, okay, this isn't really the crowd I should yeah. be with. And then, you know, you're you're at least auditioning, and then you meet people that are consistently in your type, yeah. you know, for anything and yeah. so you're just like hey what's up man or hey what's up man or, hey how you doing man or hey i saw you book that like yeah yeah man it was cool cool hey, i saw you book that you know yeah. and you just kind of end up watching people work they end up helping you with your self tapes mm. you know what i mean it's like oh, i'm not going for that role okay cool like let me help you with this yeah. da, da, da. and then when you are going for the role and you're doing each other's self tapes it's like look yeah. You just do what you got to do, and I'll do what I got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll help. Yeah. You, you get no notes. Yeah, <laughs> like it's this so is the funny. no notes land. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 like, but hopefully we get it. You know, yeah. I'll tell you if you need to do another take. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, there is <laughs> there is value too in like just doing that, like in reading yeah. lines with somebody and all that extra shit again that's not told to you in any business class or mm -hmm. you know Hollywood like you know, welcome to the city type thing. You were saying, and maybe this will help uh, jar your memory. I remember exactly what I was supposed to talk about. Oh, yeah. oh, because uh, uh, we were talking about classes. Yeah. So Matt- Hold that thought, we'll uh, be right back. No, <laughs> we got no fucking, no, there's no, no live in ads. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, so uh, uh, Matt, you know, was able to connect with some, some pretty legendary people yeah. and get lessons from just through social media and hitting them up, you know, for stand up lessons or, or just going with them or being in those, you know, uh, uh, comedy clubs as yeah. well, watching them. Yeah. And um, <laughs> so after I first met Matt, I, uh, I'm not trying to put her on blast. Yeah. She is one of my favorite actresses. Yeah. But I uh, I messaged uh, Viola Davis Whoa. on Facebook. But I didn't know if it was her or anything because yeah. it wasn't like verified. The picture was like, you know, what and I heard this? from a friend. This is like 2013 or okay. something like that, 14. Yeah. Was, like, when I first got out here, uh, a friend of mine was just like, hey, did you go out for this uh, part? And I was just like, no. And then he was like, yeah, man, have your uh, agent or manager send you out. And I was like, little do you know, I don't have any representation. Yeah, no one took dude. me. So, okay. So I was like, man, 
now I know wh what's happening, but like, what is it? He like sent me the sides. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then uh, I just messaged her and she was like, yeah, I'll send your stuff over. Like, cool, 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 da da. And it was like Vicky Thomas. And I used to watch like old, like, uh, Devil in a Blue Dress with yeah. uh, Denzel and oh, yeah. Don Cheeto. You oh, know, yeah. you can see their uh, audition tapes. So I'm watching Don Cheeto's audition tapes with Vicky Thomas. I'm like, oh man, okay, yeah, cool. I'm like, oh, this is Vicky Thomas. But half of me is like, this could easily be a scam. Yeah, like half of me is like, I could go to this location, and this is the last day of me. Of you know what I mean? Oh. Thinking I'm gonna act. Way, so I'm like preparing, but I'm also movie. like preparing for like you know. To put it down, you wow. know, to, for real, for my life, yeah, for real, yeah, yeah, because I didn't know, you know, and you know how casting offices are, like they're like, come on, man, buildings, you're just like, I mean, there's nothing that says like, also, yeah, dude, this is it, you know, and then you have to have that delusion to even think that, like, I bet that was Viola Davis that re reached back, but it maybe wasn't it until I already got in the room and I see Vicky Thomas and she's like, ready? And I was like, yeah, oh, oh, I was talking to Viola Davis. You're Vicky Thomas. Oh shit! This is my time. Oh, you know what I mean? And I yeah. just come off of like doing like Shakespeare in the Park in yeah. St. Louis, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like ready. So I'm in that room, acting like I'm performing for like five thousand people. So it's like loud. It's projecting. I'm going at it. Oh, dude. She's like, everything just talk film to me. does not need. I wasn't thinking about film at all. I was yeah. thinking about all the monologues and things yeah. I've done. You know, which is all stage. you know. So why would you do anything different? Exactly. Yeah. And then she's like. Let's take it again. Let's talk to me. And I was like, all right. You're cool. saying give more. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, God. Digging in, you know? And then she's like, all right, I think we got it. And I was like, ooh, that doesn't feel oh, like I yeah. got it. Like, I've, yeah. I've seen enough. We got it. We I, got what you brought, yeah, which we don't need. Yeah. I remember that kid looked different, you know, when he did a, a, a ET, you know, you, who yeah. was just like, all right, kid, you got the job. Yeah, I that didn't feel like that. <laughs> that energy was. Because they didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. Oh. And, um, and I mean, of course I didn't get it, but it was one of the best failure moments out here because it immediately took away that chip on my shoulder. It yeah. immediately made me be like, oh, I have kinks in my armor that I don't even, that I'm not even aware of. Mm. And so then I started taking, you know, classes just for multicam, single cam. I realized I do better in classes that, uh, 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 they film you, you know, and I can see myself. Watch the game tape. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of theater is basically like, hey, man, I don't see that thought dropping in. And you're yeah. like, okay. Like, I, I, I believe I'm thinking the thoughts, yeah. you know. But seeing yourself, you're able to be like, I see that moment. And I remember how I felt doing that part, yes. you know, where it's just like I was disconnected and I was yes. forcing something or, or, oh, that doesn't feel like it's just natural and normal. Like, I should relax. Or, mm -hmm. oh, the closer to me I am, the better it looks because it's real. Like, right get to the point where things become, so yeah, all, all in all, that was a great failure moment. I mean, I've never really talked about that moment. But, great, dude, I love it. But yeah, man. But um, those are so, and for people watching, man, which are uh, a lot of young comics and actors, like those things are uh, so imperative to have and go through. Oh yeah. It's just like oh, yeah. in comedy, man, they say like, you're not getting, if you're crushing every time on stage, you're not getting better. Yeah. You want to be consistent. Yeah. You want to get to a point to where you're just delivering and like you're going into rooms. Yes. It's a thing of like, and I've heard, you know, and I want to know what sort of advice you've gotten and what you've now given being on a, a, a stage where you have like a platform and more exposure to mm -hmm. where people do want to like know what, like we're just talking about right now, like what have you done and not done that you think got mm -hmm. you to here? But mm -hmm. there's uh, there's so much to be said about, um, you know, picking and choosing too the things that people want to tell you because it's all based on their journey, right? Mm -hmm. And I try to even do that and, and make sure that I'm really differentiating like this is at least what happened for me and so right. i'm telling you it's not what you should do but like you know you get advice from some people you know that might work for you maybe you can take a piece of that uh but the idea that i would you know one um uh rep at one point say like you know because i was frustrated with just getting a lot of opportunities and not not uh, closing it yeah not closing the deal yeah. and you're like at what point are you like and then i've heard some people be like well what is it what are you not doing and I'm like, man, well, there's always something more. So I, yeah. I subscribe to that there's always more you can be doing with everything. Right. Because I feel like, and this is, again, just going back to me personally, because I feel like, you know, for a good chunk of time, I was trying to do so much that I definitely probably was spreading myself thin and not mm. getting the most out of a few areas because I was trying to do so many. Mm. But, um, but that idea of, like, building fans, and even if you're going in and you don't get a job that you really want, controlling what you can control and crushing it, so that they want to keep you on that short list and bring you back 
and even if that thing is a month later or a year later, but you're still staying in their world and yeah. and getting opportunities to come in again and crush and be consistent and um, and be memorable and just be on those lists to keep getting opportunities and to stay in the game. Right, right, right. right. And, um, and then hopefully one of those, you know, uh, well, pans out. Because they'll see you coming in those rooms too and yeah. like working every day, yeah. you know? Every, everyone sees people working and doesn't acknowledge it at the same time, you know? Where it's like, I've got casting director friends where I'm like, man, you're working on like seven shows. Like that must be exhausting. Yeah. Like looking at all these different auditions all day along with sending the emails out to tell them to, you Ooh. know, have that self tape the same day, you yeah. know what I mean? Or, or early in the morning, yeah. you know? Um, but. I, it's it's so important to keep going, you know. I think that, I mean, you just build those relationships, and then they they also know your strong points as well, like what you do do greatly and you don't do so much, you right. know. And then they kind of help guide you. They'll give you more notes because they kind of know you. They know you can take the note, you yeah. know. So it's it's weird that it's like you do have to have a lot of failures just to get to a point where you're like, okay, cool, like. Me as an individual, yeah. like when I do this, that's what makes me special. Like everyone has their own special juice, yeah. you know? So you said it's when like, you got out here, you weren't, you were belligerent. You were just what? Trying to just kind of like live in LA oh, and do shit and meet people or what? No, no, no. I, I never thought that like, I mean, and even today a little bit, like I'm, I'm all about the, uh, of course, like networking can work, you yeah. know? But I always feel weird if I don't have anything going on either. Cause yeah. it's just like, I'm just, hanging out now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather just, you know, hang out if we're in the same field and then just leave it at that, yeah. you know? And then we'll, like if our paths cross where it's like we can work, then mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, yeah. Let's, let's make that organic, yeah. not force that. Hey guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Hope you're enjoying this episode. Obviously it's a very difficult time for everyone right now. We're all uh, challenged in finding a day-to-day -day routine that, uh, that makes our lives uh, consistent and awesome. And if there's something that's interfering with your happiness right now or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp Online Counseling is there for you. Uh, BetterHelp is a professional counseling service online, private, and it's so convenient. Um, I've used it for a little bit now. It's truly the only way uh, that i found uh, to help get uh, my own issues dealt with on my own time. Uh, at my own pace. You can schedule secure video or phone sessions plus chat and text with your licensed professional counselor right now. They're specialized in depression, anger, stress, anxiety, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief or relationships, uh, sleeping, which I have a lot of uh, trouble with, trauma, self-esteem, anything that you share with them is confidential. And guess what? If you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, at any time, you can request a new one for no additional charge. There's 3,000 U.S. licensed therapists across all 50 states available worldwide. And again, there's four ways to communicate with them. Text, chat, phone, and video. You can start communicating in under 24 hours. It's available on any desktop, mobile web, Android, and iOS apps. Schedule a video or phone session, generally weekly, unless your therapist schedules more. Uh, unless you just are really not sleeping and need to get some uh, some some additional chats in, uh, there's broad expertise in the network which may not uh, which may not be locally available in many areas. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. It's secure. It's convenient. It's professional, and above all, it's affordable. All right, it's truly the most affordable option I found. So right now. All ALN listeners are going to get 10% off your first month with a discount code about last night. So why not get started today and start making some changes for the better in your life? You deserve it. So go to betterhelp.com slash about last night. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor that you'll love. That's betterhelp.com slash about last night. Betterhelp.com slash about last night and get 10% off your first month with promo code about last night. And now back to the episode. But when I first got out here, I was like, okay, I need the the agent, you know? And um, I would just get like a bunch of headshots, you know? I was in my car <laughs> uh, and I like almost every week would go to the same 12 agencies and just like drop my headshot and resume off. Like if I didn't get it in like a month or two or whatever, I would go again. I was just like, I was like, I'm just gonna bang on this door every day. And I got maybe one interview and it was still like, 
all right, maybe we can see something for you, da da da. I mean, then again, my I guess, you know, my my look was different and stuff like that. I also didn't have those classes either. So everything well, I did white. was all people theater. Know you were white. Yeah, and yeah. You changed your look yeah, to black. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. when you started booking. Yeah, that's when I that's when I really yeah. got got busy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh Dude, I did the same uh, shit by the way. And oh, that's, wait, what? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I was black. I went to white. Oh, no. oh okay. Uh, the same thing of pounding on doors and dropping headshots off. Yeah. Because guess what? Again, when you come out of school with and you're trying to build something out of nothing and there's no real rule book because again every no rule book. every path is different and no one really is trying to help you. Yeah. That's the other thing you realize. <laughs> you're just like even any sort of agent you might have gotten right out of the gate, yeah. unless you are fucking, you know, Margot Robbie, Kutcher, people, yeah, people yeah. that got discovered. Those are those golden people that you're just yeah. like, wow, you They saw the dollar. That was your signs. first audition and yeah. you booked. I know, dude. Man. Never had to more power struggle. To you. Yeah, Less. for sure. <laughs> like, and and those things do happen enough to where I think it's why people do come out. Of course, hoping for that opportunity to just get discovered. But and it keeps people like us going too, because yeah. we know that okay, well, if I'm putting this energy in, there's got to be one day yes. where I strike gold. Yes. You know, just because they were like, oh wow, oil. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I keep digging, then yeah. there's got to be it somewhere yeah. for me too. You know, because you said you dropped off like twelve headshots and you did get one. So the fact that you were like, I mean, this is this is like a full year though. Like it wasn't Jesus. like uh, I was dropping them off and then like, hey, what's up? It was more like a. There was nothing what going on. What were the pictures? On. Like, what was Man, your, were you just oh like, my God, it was totally, so was it, bad. Was it fucking like that? What? Like, what were you, were you sending the wrong it message? Was, it was, it was super simple stuff that I got in, uh, in college and, and not, not, you know, really, you know, putting anything down, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't professional. You know yeah. how they are now. Of like course. how they, it's sometimes it's glossed, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? It's got like, it's like, man, he looks good. Yeah. I see it in his eyes, yeah, you know, this matters. was just a regular like Polaroid. headshot photo, you yeah. know, where it's like, it's okay. The background's a little frosted, but the yeah. colors are just not yeah. headshot material, you know? Was your pose just, like, were you just yeah, like clean. Mugging? I was always clean shaven, oh, you whoa. know? I always had the fade and like, that's okay, you know, but I've got kind of a baby face too. Yeah. So I've got like a baby old face, yeah. you know? It's not like a- <laughs> Old baby face, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like, we know you are above age, but we don't believe that you're your age, you know? So- We feel like that beard can be peeled off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't even have that yet, you know? Oh, so wow. yeah, this is this is no beard Kev. And wow. uh, 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 it actually was when I was just like, man, I just have to do something different. Like I gotta take classes. I think like it would be cool to have a five o'clock shadow. I think it would be cool if I had, you know, a little bit more hair, you know? I mean, yeah. a little closer to like an Afro fade is cool, yeah. you know? Um, and just like, you know, every every day or every week, like things would change. And I would just honestly kind of accept and do any and everything because I had nothing. So I was like, sure, I'll go and do, you know, that little skit over there. Or I'll go and I'll do, I'll be an extra on that, you know, Sag new media project yeah. you know i was just trying to be acting um be on set like, yeah and just because just... it it was killing me every day not not doing that after yeah. doing it for so long and yeah. then like food running in my graduation suit and living in my car and also being like i have no family here so oh, man. there's no one to like to be there to be like i'm with you you know it's just like pfft. well the and voice then, is in your head when you're sleeping in your car i'm you sure know, kept your company <laughs> you know um, how long were you in your car but, for sleeping ah uh, really just a couple months i mean it's not <laughs> that sounds Still. funniest but uh but Still, there was dude. there were some people that uh were uh, alumni from my my school and they uh, we're staying in a place that like opened up. And so then I was able to move in there wow. with them, you know, but it was a, you know, it's always a process. And um, take me real yeah, man. quick just through those two months. What I mean, man, you... I think I was the most st stressed really. Yeah. Like I, I can't even, I, I can only say stress, but it was also like my choice too. I had a friend that, um, I, I studied some theater in London for a little bit. Me uh, too. Summer, summer classes. Ah, in the Regent's State College. Nice. Uh, Reg well, dude, Regent's Park is where our school was next. It was a uh, British American Drama Academy. The bot at the Wow, top. I literally, yeah, I was at Regent's College, so we were probably like this. Neighbors. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Camden, Camden Town was right below. Yeah, 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 man. Tried oh. to buy some weed there, got oh. fucking robbed. <laughs> I mean, you got robbed? Oh, yeah, dude. They were like, me and my buddy were so stupid. We went out there oh. way late night. We'd walk down there to go to pubs, you know, before yeah. post class. You had that great, I mean, there's a Tower Records there, and it was just a cool strip of shops and little restaurants, of right? Course. And just, yeah, yeah. And it's that whole fun. area ruled in the park. And Majority of people there are fun, too. So oh, yeah. that's why I'm like, 
What? Well, we went out late night, and these and these guys would walk by, and they go, "We'd cook ecstasy, we'd cook ecstasy," and we were like, "How about that first one? What's up with that?" And he's like, "Oh, come on, come around the corner." And he's like, "All right, now give me uh, how, how much you have." And we're like, oh, "We've got like I don't know, 70, 80 quid." He's like, "All right, that's perfect. Now, uh, give me that. I'll go around the corner. The weed's gonna be right over there. I'm gonna go around the corner and get all the weed, and I'll come right back. You stay right here." And we were just like, "Dude, that sounds like a this checks out. This sounds like <laughs> a great. Wait, wait that's checked out. This sounds like legit." Dude, <laughs> I'm we were like, so, "Come see me in the light. We'll dude, just." I, I know it was goodness gracious. I mean, oh. we were just so. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you look back, you're like, it just none of it adds up. No. Like, give the money, you leave, we'll stay here. So, I mean, of course, five minutes go by and we're just like, dude, I fucking, we're going to get weed, dude. This is fucking. You're so- and then, you know, 10 minutes and you're like, ah. He'll come back. I think, well, you're being negative, dude. You're pessimistic. That's your style, though. But I'm optimistic, and I think that guy's a good guy, and he wants us to get high. So so we're, we're fucked. And we do, 7 a.m. Okay. arrives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's digging it up <laughs> right now. No. Yeah, good to go somewhere. Man, yeah. I just, I, I think the only thing I didn't like was the fact that in the summer, the sun came up at, you know, like 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. So it was so weird to yeah, be like- sucked. Man, I don't like going out because like yeah. I feel like it's nine a.m. Yeah. now, you know. And wait, so you went now there I feel for like my day is there. A summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. summer. Um, yeah, it was. Dude, it so was you're cool, a true man. thespian. Yeah, I mean, I try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try. I, I just wanted to, you know, I, I, I just don't want to look back and 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 think I didn't try. You know what I mean? Or, or try to give my best. And also, that's kind of the the stuff I was shown as a kid. You know, all these people went from theater to the mm. film. You know, so I wanted to follow that same path and, you know, really go for it, you know? So, I mean, from a young age, I was like, oh, if I want to be like, you know, Marlon Brando or Sidney Poitier or Denzel or, or Viola, any of them, yeah. like they all did theater first and and that's what I should do if I want to really grow and be to the place where I want to be. So, so then you, yeah, man. okay, so you start getting acclimated to LA, right? Like you, you, you get out of your car, you get to this place. Yeah, yeah, and then, Sherman Oaks. And then you start, yeah, dude, dude. <laughs> okay. Sherman Oaks saved me, you know. <laughs> How, the valley. <laughs> is there a uh, is there like a new uh, an elevated sense of like here we go when you're able to get out of your car? Because was there a point too where you're just like, man, I might have to like ride this out. There for... really wasn't a here we go until I <laughs> booked my first national on my own. That wasn't that was the moment I specifically remember. Like, what was that? They, it was McDonald's. Yeah, they uh, they called me. I think it was. I mean, honestly, it was right when uh, 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 nothing was the same dropped. So I, I remember it so clearly because the day of set, like I'm listening to the first track, you know, wow. I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, start from the bottoms on that track. I'm like, ah, oh oh, you know, I was just dude. like, this feels so for me right now. Oh yeah. My God. I remember going on set, you know, like doing the fitting and everything. Um, I kind of finesse life for food. So that's when I did, you know, P90X3 and like yeah. the test groups. And, yeah. you know, they, they give you the food there. They teach you how to portion control and work out. So I was like, cool, that's settled. You know, all I have to do is just act now. I've got the food, I've got the workouts, I've got the job, and then I've got the dream. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Uh, Wait, finesse yeah. life for food. I love that. So you were doing, Both, yeah. So break that down for me. So in a test group, you know, you, you kind of have to be there for an hour. You know, it's a, it was at Beachbody and uh, you take pictures every day, but they really design a meal plan for you uh, uh, with the workout, which was P90X3 with Tony Horton. And it, it's just 30 minutes a day. Wow. So uh, you're really only there an hour to like take the pics and then just like be like, all right, I'm going to, you know, stretch my body yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And uh, it was just for three months, but... Um, it just taught me a lot. It actually really helped clear my mind. You know, those endorphins for working out just helped having good, clean, you know, food in my body too, you know, not being like, all right, I got to take from the restaurant I work at, (laughs) you know, uh, but, uh, what you um, did too. Huh? What you did too. Yeah. 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 You have to, you know, when I was doing the test group, I, you know, I always want to go a hundred percent. So I wasn't cheating on those meals at all. Oh, good. Um, and, but yeah, so, so after that, you know, book, book McDonald's and everything. And, um, huge by the way, McDonald's national. It was cool. Yeah. How it many was, more eyeballs super cool. do you need? I mean, that's like, yeah, it was, it was like a, a McDonald's Xbox, like uh collab. Cause I think, yeah, the, the, the new Xbox at the time came out or whatever. Wow. And they were advertising those games. I was like, I'm an Xbox man. Like, you know, and, uh, what were you doing in the commercial? Uh, so all of us went out for the uh, the lead, the guy that like actually says the lines, but then we were broken down into like the lead's friends. So yeah. then like five people ended up booking. Cool. So they, so in the commercial, all I'm doing is a burger bite. And 
I, I'll never forget the director was just like, whoever does the bite definitely gets seen, so you're gonna do the bite. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And they're like, do you know how to bite and smile? And I was like, sure. <laughs> you know, I didn't you, know how to do it. You didn't it. know. I didn't, yeah, I was just like, I'm just gonna bite and smile. <laughs> and so like, Cause by the way, that's I'm in the it. commercial, he's like getting up, he does a speech and I'm biting being like, what? And then and that was it, pretty much it. I, Which, from the cutting of it. Uh, Cause sure. before we had like a, a, a little like war thing. We were all in like Spartan suits or whatever because they were advertising this game called Rise. Mm. I never played it, but it looked like yeah. Sparta, yeah, you yeah. know? Uh, but yeah, that time was great. And I remember being like, oh, this is going to be amazing. And months went by and I was like, man, that check is taking a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. taking Was my bite and smile ever. like yeah, an yeah, overbite yeah. and extra is smile? Is it coming out? <laughs> you know? And, yeah, uh, right. But I mean, yeah, it came out. It ran for a good little bit. And um I mean, yeah, from there it just taught me like, hey, look, when you get something, like genuinely don't stop because everything stops when you do, yeah. you know? Um, but that's the moment I specifically to this day remember like having a moment of triumph. And it took like, you know, a, a year and a half, two years. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of learning in those, you know? Like I had to learn to, to be like, okay, so this is the commercial, this is the TV, mm. this is the multicam, yeah, yeah. even this is the, you know, like being on stage and you kind of got to separate a little bit. Or yeah. for me, I had to separate a little bit just from my training and yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, no, that was uh, that was super exciting. And then, you know, there's some moments where it would take a break, but I was definitely more like, okay, well, if I'm submitting for me, then I'm just going to like every day wake up and just like be the first one to submit. So I'm one of the first ones in, that they see, you know, cause they get like pages of it, you know? So if I felt like if I was late on submissions, then they wouldn't see me first, right. you know? So take me through that because people, I don't know if they're aware that they're, yeah, there's a lot of, these are all non-union gigs, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, For a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah, until yeah. You, I mean, up until, you know, McDonald's, you then it was hard. Cause yeah. then it was like, they're not bringing me in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so non-union gigs, probably quite a few more and these are people oh, yeah. who aren't in SAG and aren't paying the dues to be up for maybe bigger jobs but yeah. there's so many I and mean, you gotta little... show what you, you, you can do you totally. know that was the biggest thing is that they were just like so you, you've done all this theater but we can't see that yeah. you know we don't like so what are your credentials right you know? so there's a lot of like central casting sites and I mean dude I remember like all of, I was on like Actors Access yeah, and um, yeah. LA, LA casting. casting yeah yeah and just you put up casting a picture Casting Frontier all, or a bunch of pictures Casting Frontier yeah. and going to these buildings to like re-up stuff and turning in new pictures for them to upload and maybe a little reel for them to put on and yeah. hopefully you try to do a bunch of you know student films and other sketches and some guys that have some good shit to tape mm -hmm. a little couple scenes to put on there for people to have and and there's a lot of damage to be done on those things but, yeah. but you are competing with probably way more people than of I mean I don't know what the numbers would be like versus at that time, like, you know, going in for SAG jobs first non-union, but I feel like there's a lot more people that are were in those boats of like, yeah, I got no reps and I'm just trying to be yeah. my own agent. Yeah. So good on you to be waking up being like, I want to be the first person they see submitting for these things. Got you're going it. through all the breakdowns. You're being like, all right, cool. Here's like, you I know, can do this. Yeah, this, I can do this. This breaks me this down. This is cool. This is cool. You're like, I was yeah. also being like, if I don't go out for this four hundred dollars, someone else is gonna get this four hundred dollars. Oh, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so what, it what was, was just wild. Was there one job you went in for that you remember that was like? Because I've got commercial horror stories as far as like being hung over for an Olive Garden commercial, wearing like a sport oh, coat that's with like a reading rainbow T shirt, and the guy's like, "Hey man, small talk before we get into the lines." And so I just be like, I was like, "Man, they better bring us some breadsticks. I'm gonna fucking puke." And the guy's like, "Cut!" Oh, and he's like, "So like not from real life. Like let's just do." Something about you guys are friends. Like I don't even know where that came from. I was like, yeah, I was just trying to be funny, and I, I am actually very hungover. He was like, great. I can tell from your outfit, but like for sure, like just talk about friend stuff. Yeah. So then it could go cut again, and you know, sometimes just the, you know, and the performer in you comes out because you're like, I need to carry the weight of this moment, and right. the people that I've been dealt with yeah. weren't as chummy as I maybe wanted. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the conversation was stale. So I remember the guy being like, oh man, like did you guys? Did you guys uh, see how hot it's gonna be this weekend? I'm trying to go to the beach, and I was like, "Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, man. Melanoma's real, so like, if you're trying to get skin cancer, like, Jurassic Park Two's coming out too. <laughs> hey, you cut. Hey, you guys. With gold. You guys, like, please. Why don't we have someone else talk? And why don't you just sit there and enjoy the food? I was like, it's not even here. I was supposed to treat this like fucking hook and just imagine that the food's gonna show up. Hey, oh, hook goes hard. Yeah, so, hook sorry. goes hard. <laughs> but so you know what I'm saying. So yeah, like yeah. that was. Uh, that was definitely a uh, a learning experience. I had a point to that. What was I bringing that story up for? We were just talking about non-union auditions. Non-union, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one time um, 
I, I've got I've got a non-union moment and I've got a uh, 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 an experience too. Please. Um, so one of the moments was super weird because it was a callback and they brought Shit. everyone Sorry, in. One sec. What are the odds that you could take her downstairs? Is I that for real? Oh. Yeah. Oh, dude, that'd be fucking huge. And we can just keep oh, going. That, yeah, she was get, giving those she's, hey yeah. vibes. You know, and there's the spot where she's been going to pee. It's been, um, uh, all right. Uh, it's been uh, right out to the left. And then there's that little like, like almost like raised up flower bed just because there's like dirt. Mm -hmm. Dude, big I, time. I fucking yeah, love no you, problem. dude. Thank you so much. Great dog, by the way. She's, yeah, a dog actually, that will tell you go, instead go. of just going it. I gotta stay here. You go, go, go. And you, if she's not going, you say go potty pickles. Okay, I love oh, it. Hilarious. Thanks, doggy. <laughs> yeah, no, that's clutch. My my dog's like that, where she's just like, yeah, it's, it's time. big time. She's mm -hmm. only a little over a year old, but it's like, oh, nice. That's Even a, better. Yeah, a, a big. I mean, you know, I don't know. This is people say, oh, if you have a dog, it's a start to like how you can be with kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'll joke in my act where I'm like, I'm gonna be a terrible father because <laughs> Pickles will like be eating herself out in public, and I'm like, hey, Pickles, stop licking your hoo ha, and then she'll turn to me and go, but it's so good. Oh man. And I'm like, all right, two more minutes, and <laughs> but just don't look anybody in the eye <laughs> while you're doing more. it. Man, that's so much time. <laughs> like, two I minutes. You can get a lot done in two minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two. But so then I go, I two go, more minutes. I, I go, I'm gonna be a bad dad because if like I'm at Thanksgiving and my son teaches him how himself how to how to blow himself, oh, man. I can't fully confidently. <laughs> Trust that I'm going to be like, stop doing that. Yeah. Don't make this the last thing your grandma remembers, you know. But then he's going to be like, but it's so good. And I'm like, all right, again, don't look anybody in the eyes. Get, <laughs> don't yeah. look anybody in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. We've yeah. all been there. We've all been there, man. I mean, you're you're it's a new you're trick. Ray kid. You're excited. You know? You're Ray. It's, 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 you're Ray. That's all you're, you're doing. You're, you're it should Ray. be in you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, how long have you had a dog for? Uh, it's my mom's dog, so I've only had her for two years. Oh wow. Yeah, she's like eight years old. So I mean, I got her super prime. I mean, I remember her, you know, yeah. first being picked up and stuff. Stuff, but extra thing to be responsible for and kind of keep you uh, yeah keep you sane yeah. I honestly think she's good luck you know it just oh whoa it just yeah uh there's just moments where I mean yeah things get hard and you're just like just having someone excited that you're home I you know, know is is just like hey that, you yeah, know dude. like oh what's up what a crazy this, feeling yeah yeah cats don't give you that same should, vibe by the way yeah 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 and they give a, you a your back <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean like, well 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 look who it fucking is yeah the look at you I was looking out there here. you yeah. weren't around all day <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah I'm doing this today yeah. like oh come hug me I know <laughs> they're Dogs just like love nah. and they want to give love unless it's a naked cat what does that mean? Yeah, so uh, cats uh, naked? my friend uh, or, or Joey, jo Joey has or Joey's sister Kelly mm. has a, uh, a a naked cat. I mean, it looks scary. It, they look like aliens, you know. Oh, they're like shaved off. Is that yeah, what you mean? yeah, okay. yeah. Oh yeah, they're bald. Uh, but if you uh, if it's just a little bit cold, they're the cuddliest things ever. And if you got a little scruff, they'll yeah. rub up against you because you're scratching them. But it feels like the cutest thing because they'll Whoa. purr and they're like, you know, See the and you're just like. Yeah, come yeah, on. Maybe I am a cat guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But only a naked cat. I've never seen that from any other cat. See, even the purr is like should be a cute thing, mm -hmm. but it always it, it scares sounds, you. It's almost doesn't scare, and I don't want that documented. We'll edit this out. But, um, <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> I was like, you fucking scared of a cat? Are you scared of kittens, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bro? <Yeah. laughs> like, same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, dude, that's where we really bond. Like that step yeah, step brothers that's moment. The thing that yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ignites amazing. this night. No, I just think it's like it's almost like rattlesnake esque. Where it's just like, it, I'm like, what are you plotting? It sounds like the plot. It's it's a the purr is a plotting. It's like, what are you? It's not a cute like a dog like pickles whining right there to have to go take a pee was was even, even that was it's cute. informative and the bark is like yeah. There's a purpose. Yeah. The purr, I'm like, I don't trust you. Yeah, is it, when I hear it, <laughs> it does feel like a, a innate thing they can't control. But a bark or a, a whimper is like, a, what's the message here? You know? totally. A purr is like, so you like this, but I'm kind of afraid if you yeah. switch up, you know, because yeah. sometimes they go. Through there at night where yeah. they're like attacking nothing and they're just like so intense and you're like man i hope they don't come over here or think it's on my shoulder <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean they're running through the house and that's weird yeah so also yeah. like i don't know the cat scrap i've been you know maybe i've yeah. been traumatized by my sister's cats too oh being scratched scrap. by a cat hurts yeah. hurts i was bit by a dog when and i was and wherever oh it really took, yeah it took me a long time to uh not have like a, a fear over dogs for a Whoa. while it actually took my mom and sister having a dog for me to uh, uh, 
be like, all right, this is chill. And then Matt having a dog for mm. a little bit and uh, being like, man, wow, yeah, all right, okay. So now I see dogs and I'm just like, hey, what's up? Yeah. And it just let me know like, okay, cool. I was just holding on to that really bad experience. Like it was like a German Shepherd and a Rottweiler I've been bit by. So I've oh. been like, <laughs> I was yeah. like, dogs will do it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like. Those are two like, of the. Those are beasts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but now you're... now I mean it's it's really like all love. I I was you know I was a scared shy kid. So yeah. that dog probably was like, hey man, you being weird. <laughs> and then <laughs> the dog like was... <laughs> the dogs They're agreeing like... with my dad. Dude. Looking at my dad like, what's up, man? What's you... <laughs> <laughs> you find out your dad hired those dogs to bite you to help <laughs> yeah. break you out of your shell. See, I told you, man, you're being weird. <laughs> <laughs> dogs are gonna bite you. They pick up on that energy. Go get them. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. Do you think you'll get to a point to where you're? Well, let me ask you this: with your uh, with some of the new. Uh, checks you started to accumulate. What was your like your first me purchase? And I don't, you don't strike me as someone that's Man. an impulse buyer, no, or a, uh, or someone that's gonna like leave, live outside their means. Yeah, but like. Come on, man! I feel like, like I've got a boring answer of what my me purpose was, or uh, me purchase was, because it was definitely well. Just the fact that you slipped loans. and said me purpose over yeah, me purchase yeah, yeah, lets yeah, me yeah. know you're not right. buying anything yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. cool. My me purpose, all right, dude. <laughs> Tony Robbins over here. All right, brother. Yeah. Look, look, you already talked <laughs> about that. You're successful. Good you work yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. on fucking TV every two seconds. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. Get out yeah. of here. <laughs> yeah. uh, it really it was just buying stu- or paying off my student loans because uh, okay. that was super crazy yeah. and then well that's a good answer and then i mean you know christmas came around and i was happy to you know give something you know nice to everyone like even that's even dope. though everything was away yeah shouts to amazon you know you could you could that for 5.99 you yeah. get that gift bag you know yeah and i was writing uh or not writing but writing yeah. <laughs> like this Hilarious. now yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh uh as santa claus and that was just like the best thing to be like read the letter out loud you know clever sometimes yeah. with my family oh, yeah. you know, on the oh, gifts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was just cool to have a moment like that on Zoom, That's you know? Dope, so yeah. that was definitely the best like thing. And it wasn't like wild things. I didn't, you know, get my mom, you know, Rolls Royce Cadillac. Not you yet. Know? I didn't. Yeah. Well, so I mean. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, just simple. Was simple. it the first time you get, were able to do like a it full family? It was the first family. time I could be able to give something Whoa, sentimental dude. to every single one. Whoa. Multiple things that go with each other instead of being like. I'm doing my best, like, and I this want is you what to, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or a card, and, or I got you next year, or something. You know, yeah, you can. yeah. There's been there's been a, a Christmases that you know, I, you know, the broke Christmases sometimes are the best ones because yeah. what you can do is you just make a vision board for your friend. So you just do that, wrap it up, and it's kind of like I gave you everything. You know, you you take out the the cardboard and you see you know i cut out your face and put the mansion or the the, the rolls royce in there because i Whoa. want you to be able to look at these things and be like yeah I, or you know put an oscar or emmy you know you just Whoa. do it for your friends you know it's a you know that's the broke christmas but you gave out vision boards for christmas oh yeah my Whoa. friends have done that before if Whoa. you have no money it's it's the best you know? <laughs> it's like the cheapest most like yes loving thing Genuine. you can give yeah <laughs> There's nobody there, but there's somebody there, and I see you. Hey, guys, comedian Adam Ray here. Thanks for listening to the About Last Night podcast. I hope you're enjoying the episode, and I hope you're doing okay. It's a crazy, crazy time right now, and if you're a little uneasy, I get that, and I've also got the answer, Koi CBD. Say it with me, Koi CBD. Feels good, and it does feel good because I use all their products. I've been fucking with the fellas at Koi CBD since my circumcision, and I'll tell you this much. They're the best in the game, okay? Gummies, bath bombs, tinctures, joints, creams, oils. They got stuff for pets. Koi CBD has been giving the people what they need to feel better, to mellow out, to go to sleep right, to take away the aches and pains with the creams and oils. The bath bombs make bathing just the best thing ever. You get a little a little radiation high from the from the bombs. I don't know what's in it, but fucking goodness and and just all sorts of It's amazing, okay? It feels like drugs, and it's not, because it's CBD. So, if you wanna get these amazing products, and I know you do, because I got the Adam Ray stamp of approval, go to KoiCBD.com and put in the code ALN15 to get 15% off your first order. KoiCBD.com, the promo code ALN15 to get 15% off your first order. Do it today, and start living and feeling the right way. And now, back to the episode. When you got no cash, truly, the create Activity. Arts and crafts <laughs> will help you out. Arts and crafts. <laughs> but you got to step it up and you got to think outside the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickles has returned. Pickles has returned. Dude, you're the fucking best. It's huge. Which, what, did she go? Yeah. God bless you, dude. Not very much, but she did. Dude, but she went. Pickles, what do you say? All right, dude, thank you so much. Big time, yeah. Um, 
We're just we're talking, talking about, about arts and crafts. Arts and crafts and the um, the broke Christmas. You have a broke Christmas? Oh yeah. 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 Every year. Yeah. And what's, <laughs> is there a present that you have gotten or given during the broke Christmas where you're like, this is as good as I can do right now, but I want to show you that I'm thinking of you, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Other than the card or yeah, just I like a like, longer hug. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been like like a nice purse. How about the mic? Like that. Is the mic on? Can you hop on it? I can turn it on. Yeah, turn on. Hop on the mic, man. One two one two. I think you said a. Did you say a purse you gave? What? Yeah, I've done um, like a more near the expensive side of like a purse or like a mm. piece of jewelry, but not like too much out of my yeah. range, you know? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But but take me even broker than that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're talking <laughs> take arts me and crafts. to the times of no money, no money at all. When you like, that, if you gave something, it would just be like. Like this a, is the end of my life now. Like yeah. A handmade card. Yeah. With like a coupon for a free back rub. Or yeah. Free back oh, rub. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. By the way, coupon. Yeah. <laughs> free back rub coupons. Like, I mean, yeah, I remember I gave my mom uh, those as a kid, and like, I, I doubt she ever cashed in on them, but it was like, uh, by the way, like, cut to me in therapy, just being like, my mom forced me to give her back rubs. And oh, like, man. Well, we actually have a bunch of coupons that she sent us to show that you're full of shit. But those, like, yeah, the, the IOUs or the, um, you know, <laughs> like, just. IOUs for holidays? Oh, dude, I did that to my sister all the time. Like, where I was just like, I fucking got you. I got no money. It was like, and even yeah, when I started to make yeah. money, it was like, uh, but now it's, you know, they're fine. But, um, yeah, those uh, those times are, make these times even more special. So it's like. Thanks so much. So, like. But probably also make you even more um, frugal, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, you say you're not. I mean, if you see a nice pair of shoes, you're not going to be like, "Oh, I'm going to treat myself," because I know you like to like. I mean, ball. You're like that's not something that I, you're. Well, see, I used to be like that, like growing up and not having any of the, you know, Jordans or anything. Yeah. You know, you're just like, Man, get one wow, yourself. Like, you know, especially in Chicago, and everyone in Chicago knows, like you will be roasted on your. Just oh, like, everything, Kev, you know Kev, what I mean? Oh man, Longleys? going through it, and you're like, all right, well, my game is finding your soul in <laughs> your weak points, so I can roast back, protect yeah. myself. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a shy, weird kid, man. <laughs> let me let me live. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm doing drama club, but yeah. I got to play football. Like, leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, uh, but no, yeah. So I mean, when I started really getting those commercial checks, like from you know, from McDonald's and yeah. all that stuff. I was like, oh man, okay, cool. Well, I've always wanted the fours, the 11, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? So once, I, and then, you know, a couple, you know, hype beast things too. But once I got all the things that I wanted, it kind of just like got to, a, oh, cool. You know, I've got all the shoes I've always wanted. And and now like, all right, no one really cares unless they're a sneakerhead too, you yeah. know? And then it got weird to, only ever talk to sneakerheads after you get some cool shoes totally. where you'll walk around like, yeah, man, I'm, you know. <laughs> what you think, yeah. You know? Huh? <laughs> what? Uh -uh, you know? <laughs> yeah, Everyone's yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, and you're like, oh. But a sneakerhead's like, yo, wow, how, you know? And But I mean, that's just a culture in itself. So once that happened, I was kind of like, well, you know, I mean, you know, there's some shoes that I like and yeah. if I can get it for retail, I'll get it. Yeah. But if it's resale, then I'm like, I mean. Paying twenty five hundred dollars for shoes is not fuck not, that not, not me you know because like, I know it went for one eighty or two twenty yeah or, you know what I mean or three hundred like I just feel like like the the Back to the Futures are thirty five thousand dollars no they're not yeah resale yeah thirty five thousand dollars get the fuck yes. out of here yes yes I will ne yes I and I would love to be Marty McFly but come on not for thirty five thousand dollars <laughs> you know what I mean that's so much can happen for thirty five thousand dollars for some shoes. It's, it's wild. I went to Comic Con one year and saw this kid uh, running around. Um, he was calling. He kept. He had a, a movie poster like stuck in his thing. It said "Black to the Future." It was a real smooth nice. black kid decked out as Marty McFly. Sweet. Nice. And he like made his whole shit. But like, I mean, everything. He wouldn't tell me how much it all cost. But like, it. But he just. I mean, was the he jacket, like at the shoes, everything? Was and, he future Marty McFly or was he like the first? You know, the first one. Okay, cool. Yeah, cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. Because that, yeah. that jacket, that yeah. kind of. But he, had, but he had like, I mean, he, he spruced it, it up. He, mm. you know, he did. He yeah, did yeah, what yeah, a cool yeah, black yeah. guy does. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, fucking yeah, made yeah, everything you know, better. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> Let's no, be honest. Yeah. Everything was cooler. <laughs> um, man, yeah. So yeah, I mean, what is there? How many people? Perception is like so much too of like what we do, right? Where it's like, true, true. like talking about people thinking, you know, early on, like I was saying when when I go back home and oh, I don't see you on this, so how do I know that you're like doing it? Mm. Is there, um, well, first of all, have you had people 
reach out to you from the past, uh, good and bad that you uh, want in your life to to you know throw your props uh, during this time? And then um, two, uh, and then two part question. Oh yeah. Um, uh, do you feel is it is it making it more easy for you to like seed out the? Because I think it happens with anybody when you start to get. Uh, success and exposure in a certain avenue, right? The, then you go, oh, cool! I'm getting like a really easy dose of like real, not real. Yeah, I think um, honestly, I think the pandemic has really made me, you know, lucky just to have a taste. Just because it's like not a lot of things are open, you know. What I mean, so it was a slow growth of that too, mm -hmm. you know. But it also heightened it because a lot of people are at home, so people reach out, but it's not. It definitely hasn't been on that, you know, scary part where you're just like, whoa, 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 you know. Um, <clears throat> people reach out for for good and bad, of course. Uh, but I know I, I kind of have really, uh, there's very rare malice with anyone in my past, too. So yeah. everything has always been good, even from, you know, elementary where it was like, you know, there were some people that were, you know, just jerks. But oh, before, yeah. you know, really going off to LA that was already squashed. So now it's just like, thanks man, you know, mm. yeah, thanks. We <laughs> yeah. squashed what we had and you know, hope hope life is well. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. And uh and yeah, so uh yeah, yeah, people just reach out. I mean, I, I wish I had some like amazing stories like where it's just like, yeah, this person reached out and was like, hey man, like you know, uh, let's get a yacht, you know, or something, you know, yes. but no one's doing I just that to party me. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's with pretty Jake, much yeah. just like, hey, can you FaceTime me? And uh, 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 my grandma loves you. And I'd be like, absolutely. You know oh, what yeah? I mean? Like, oh man, yeah. Heroes, yeah. I, I always want to do that just because, I don't know. I remember, or not I remember, I, I'm, I'm still Kev. Like, I still. You know, I have my fan moments, you yeah. know, too, where I'm just like, man, I'd love to chill with them. You know, totally. there's also a lot of expectations in our yeah. art, too, of, yep. of how you're going to treat someone or who you're going to be, yep. you know. And because people see you so much, everyone has the expectations of like, we're going to be best friends because I know you, yeah. you know. And uh, and honestly, like, you know, I, I mean, that's fine to me, you know, like I, I, I want to at least make a moment special if we you know, link up or, or getting even the courage to say hello. Like there's so many people that I'm like, you know, they're, they're a star that I like, you know, yeah. that I'm just like to get the courage to be like, Hey, I just want you to know, like, I really love what you do. Can I get a picture? Like that takes so much. Yeah. So for someone to be like, nah, man, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's going to kill them all day, yeah. Yeah. you know, or like, Oh, I don't have the time. It's like, no, nah, man, I want to take those moments and you know, make it special. Who knows? I don't know how long it could last for me either. Mm. So why would I abuse that or be stubborn and be like, nah, too cool. Da, da. Like, I've never been like that. No, yeah. man. Let me talk to the grandma. Like, you know, grandma, what's up? That's my demo. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's my demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just, uh, I, yeah. Well, it's a healthy I, approach. And by the way. Yeah, I haven't been tired of it. You yeah. know, I know some people later are just like, you know, yeah. but. They're bigger than me, so I, I'm I'm still here, and I'm just like, man, it's it's cool to have just good energy around, or yeah. even when people are just like, hey, like my nephew or my or my my friend's kid, or yeah. da da da, like it's just cool. Call them on a birthday, like that's just cool, you know. But I, just, I wish way, I had more time to do it all, really. Oh yeah, well, and it's only gonna get more so. I mean, by the way, the commercials are always on um, like the big sports things too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you know that like, dude, fucking, you know. Like Brad Pitt, Obama, like <laughs> Sandler, I mean Jen Anderson. There's probably some fucking ballers. Oh, who... I don't even think about that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, why not? Like, and and it's and the commercials are always so dope, and they're getting like funnier, yeah. and they're bringing in more bigger people. Yeah, Once Drake right popped in, right. dude, Drake was uh, well, the one with Mahomes and um, uh, who was Aaron Rodgers? Yes, oh, man, <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Drake, Aaron Rodgers, and Paul Rudd. Don't forget Paul Rudd, yeah, Adrian dude. Martinez, yes. like all of them. Yeah. I mean, was that They're like good. a uh, fuck? Like I extra be on my game day? Or, Man, or it you... was a a, a bit or of they're a on bit your of turf. both. They're also on your turf a little bit, right? And also there was that thought too, because you know they're great in their field. Yes. You know what I mean? I mean, well, Adrian and and Paul, like they're you know greater yeah. in yes. the field, yes. of course. Yes. You know. Uh, and honestly, you know, Aaron Rodgers is a great actor. Like, let's not even 
play dumb to that. Don't sleep on Aaron's it. Aaron's great. Yeah. Patrick is great. You know what I mean? It's just like pff, Drake is great. Yeah. Like a, a, everyone has acted before. So it was just really. I was trying to find a way to, you know, be focused and locked in, but also to really enjoy that moment. You mm. know, I know how hard it was, especially during COVID, to even make that alone happen. Like yes. there were so many factors where, you know, State Farm, TMA, and, you know, Drake's team just really work together to yeah. get it to be that in the end. Yeah. So I'm glad it, you know, came out to be what it is because before it was going to be so separated or something and you know they made it where it's like hey we can be in it together and it can be you know funny and we can have our moment too you know instead of it being like everything's just thrown out there mm -hmm. you know and Paul came through and and it was great and he just you know did a bunch of takes and watching him was funny he's amazing yeah. like it was Puts on a so wild to be able to be like man I'm such a fan of you and we're kicking it today thank god i got this mask on so that way you know yeah, i you look cooler than, than, <laughs> yeah, than just, my face is like you know but yeah, yeah. in reality i'm like mm, yeah no oh, okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you take the mask off paul's like dude i yeah, remember yeah. were you the bite and smile guy yeah. in the mcdonald's commercial is that fucking <laughs> like six, six years, years ago, ago? i'll never like, forget that dude wow man yeah i eat burgers differently yeah. differently now because of you <laughs> wow yeah, yeah yeah you really inspired me <laughs> yeah. uh, but no yeah um Man, it was crazy experience. Yeah, so we had to film the first little bit in um, in Austin, and the second bit in mm. like New York, like six months apart. Yeah. You know, so it took a lot, uh, uh, technology wise, filming wise, bringing the crew back. The crew was amazing. Mm. Like Bob Richardson, he does like all Tarantino films. What so the fuck? honestly, those are the commercials that you see. You know, Parker promo, all that. Yeah. That you see that now, and uh, just working with those guys was more like a, I am getting the best acting class yeah. today, oh, yeah. you know? Um, and also seeing how, you know, relaxed things could be too. Yeah. Like as actors, we definitely take things so heavy of like perfection is yeah. what I think about and should feel, you know, instead of like they're capturing those moments that we don't even notice we're giving off, you yeah. know? And they become gold because they were so real yes. and people just want to see like real stuff. Yes. So, you know, even being able to like improv, with Drake for a little bit was just like, yeah, man, this is break. this is crazy, man. This is my favorite artist, you know, of all <laughs> there's so many moments in my life where it's just like, wow, literally since high school, you know, there's just been like moment after moment, you know, where he's just had these drops of great music and great, you know, mantras to say that I've used. So to f be here today at this time with you, man, it's crazy. Did you tell I me just that? Feel, I couldn't say that. You know what I mean? Like, you, oh, one, I wanted to get the work done, but two, like you know, it's You'll also have chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. He he knows it. I mean, he knows it. He knows it. You swap we, numbers. We, we've had we've had enough time to talk. I swapped numbers with the team, uh, but I didn't swap. You know, yeah. it's album mode. You can't be. No, dude, you're I right. know we we talked about it. It was one wrong. of those things where it's just like. Also, like, if, if I'm you, trying to be the most professional I can because we also are in the arena that I honor so much. Yeah. And if I'm definitely blessed to be with people that inspire me in all these different fields, yeah. like I don't want to fan out too much. No. You know what I mean? Like you never want to be the dude that's like, ah, hey, hey, man, hey, yeah. you know, and yeah. then it's just like, you know, hey, get to the work. You yeah. Know? And you'll know when that those moments kind of uh, show themselves when it's yeah. like and and by that, I mean, like, you know, him seeing another commercial or getting to do another one or yeah, reaching yeah, out yeah. to you on Twitter. There is a way he can contact you. So he oh, knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and even if he want to go through his people or or invite you to a show or or Look, or bump into you somewhere. Yeah, like I, I I think like I'm I'm at the uh, the place where like I understand he's got a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like and especially being honored that it's just like, man, you were able to spend hours with me like phew, that that alone, pff, lifetime of like I'm chilling, you yeah. know, especially while you're trying to make an album. There's so many expectations with that, you know what I mean? There's so many things that he has to do. So many people count on him, like 
I mean, so he was I'm generous just here on listen. set. Like, oh it man, up. cool dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We had our talks. We had our laughs. Like, we definitely had to, uh, uh, you know, shorten yeah. our our spot because it was like, hey guys, so we only have thirty seconds, and you guys alone right now are doing things as like twenty six seconds. <laughs> so oh, like, damn. so like, how can we? Uh, but you know, you're like becoming really buds like, and like <laughs> that's cool and everything, and like Kev especially cool for you. Like, definitely <laughs> fucking let me be your plus one. But like, <laughs> but also like the commercial shorter. So it was, like, it was great. Everyone else was so funny because they're just like yeah 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 drake yeah right right yeah drake but then uh me and the uh director eric were like really good drake fans yeah. so like every now and then now and again when uh uh, uh things would settle they're changing lights or whatever we'd be like yeah so what's up I'm like yeah ah, Dude, that's fucking I'd be cool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> here he comes shut up oh what's up man yeah man so i think i'm gonna come in like this all right yeah. cool <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it was that's amazing definitely one though. of the best times yeah yeah I, I i loved working with uh those guys and and them you know future the prince was there and matt babel was there so it was like it, it it was like a dream come true definitely being able to you know meet the team and and do something that i genuinely love oh, like yeah. i would have hated to try to meet them at like a, a party or something in la or you know what i mean or something that feels like you know uh, where it's like you gotta you know really do a lot to stand out or put on a show or yeah. you know what i mean like i i love that it's like nah you got to see me not only in my element but you got to see me me in a calm space yeah. like i do best in calm space you do yeah. <laughs> you know yeah uh i mean i love to dance like i mean that's oh, just, shit. Yeah, man. You're gonna yeah, drop that course. on me at the end of the pod? Come on, man. You know, you got served. Like, that's my that's my genre. Whoa. No, yeah. Have you tried God, to you... float this out to the State Farm people? <laughs> do they know fucking Jake can break it down? They do. They do. Okay. I've, I've done some dance spots a oh, little yeah. bit for the internet and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, oh. no. Yeah. Full full on. Yeah. There's been like music stuff and everything. And I've been like, all right, well, you know, I do, do a little bit. You can't, you can't give away everything. You can't give away all the moves because then who are you when you, you know, yeah. when everything goes out. But Dude, that's amazing because you do, as they say, use everything that yeah. you got in your tool belt at some point. Yeah, so it's like, I'm trying to build more too. You think know? about it, there could be some dance off uh, State Farm <laughs> hey, And spot, I got to represent, you know, But I it's can't you lose. versus like, I mean, just think about some of the- I can't go against Omarion, so I'm not that good. That, I'll be honest. But that's why the spot that right would be here. great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it right here. <laughs> Digitalize me doing a backflip because that's what I would do if I could. You For know, real? Right here. That'd be your move. Oh, man. Yeah. The funniest thing I think I've ever done is like ruin a dance circle that's been amazing <laughs> and go in there and like, you know, you, you, you do some pop culture moves, yeah. but then you like... You, you load up like yes. you're about to do a backflip because everyone's like, whoa, oh, yeah. and you don't do the backflip. You leave. <laughs> like, Quickest way to you're disappoint. Like, nah, yeah. and then you go. So then everyone's like, man, but if you did it, it would be phenomenal. Also, yeah. So in their mind, Leaving them with you the did idea. the backflip, yeah. but you didn't do the backflip. Dude, that's knees. gonna be my new fucking Those move. Do it, yeah, do a couple cool moves. So get, then, get everyone invested like, oh, what's he gonna do? And then be like, like commit to the yeah. to the load up. So my problem is, is people see me load up and they're gonna be like, he pulled something. <laughs> he's got to take a shit. You just gotta like, like really watch parkour. Yeah, and then just like copy them, yeah. and then just only get down. Okay, and then just Pop smoothly up, go and up just... and act like it's not the time. Yeah, just just look and be like, nah, it's not the it's not the time. You know, I get paid for this. Like, yeah. just, you just, you know, make it look cool. Walk off. Can you walk off or can you like backwards shimmy out the door? Don't like, backwards shimmy out. Right, That's well, going to ruin everything that you my did. Cup, <laughs> but I think it's, no, yeah. You definitely, you look, yeah. <laughs> every every dance everything. move is you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to be you. So, yeah. I've got yeah, yeah. three moves tops. So, and I mean. That, just use the two and then like load up and then be like, ah. And then when they want to bring you back out, then you do that third, you know. Yeah. You got to really compartmentalize your, your, your dance moves. Fuck. Yeah. Leave them one more. Right? One more. Leave yeah. and think. Leave thinking. <laughs> leave them thinking. You've got more. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> like, like, dude. And you just couldn't give it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna ask you for some advice. That's the fucking. And that's the advice to end that's on. My dude. Advice that's incredible. Now. Leave with them thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you've got more. You know. <laughs> it's not bad but, advice. It's not bad advice. And then figure out you what gave that, your all. You know. But, you, but figure out what that more is the yeah. next time they ask for it. Boom. And Boom. that's growth. Dude, uh, this was awesome. Yeah, man. We'll do Thanks it again. Me, um, me. Where are you on social media if people want to get at you? Uh, yeah, Instagram is Kevin Miles yeah. and Twitter is at one Kevin Miles. Fuck yeah, so, dude. I just got my Twitter verification the other day. I was like, dude. I saw it come on. Yeah. Mazel Instagram top. isn't messing Fucking with that. Cheers, Thanks, man. dude. Yeah, water Look and you, coffee. Man. Boom. Yeah, that's uh, a big deal. Get that check. It, it felt kind of kind of sweet, Fuck you know? Yeah, dude. It was I one of those moments I was like, oh, yeah. Because at first, you know, I'm like, I, I feel pretty verified in real life. People yeah. are just like, hey man, you're you. Yeah. And I'm like, y y yeah. Yeah, and totally. 
but having hey man, it where you see a little thing by your name is just still cool, cool. still cool especially because you come up in that era and it's like you've been out seeing and it's like an extra look this business is all about mini victories and little you know confidence boosters yeah. so fuck yeah dude yeah um all right we'll keep doing you you're crushing it thanks and uh, I, feel like it, I feel like it's just like what's really cool too man is it like you're such a great dude and you got thanks, all the man. right all the right tools and pieces and like on and off stage like you're just you're consistent Charming. and it's like I don't know man it's co it's cool at least for me and I don't know shit from shit but to like watch you know how good you are in these spots and go oh man like I know that it's like the um the stepping stones to other shit that's going to yeah. come your way that you're prepped for you know yeah and, yeah. and all this stuff we talked about prior to um to really getting like some of the fun exposure you get now it's like had you not done all that and gone through that, like you're gonna like be gangbusters through the wall, Kool Aid style, when yeah. you get like these next uh, opportunities. And that's yeah, I hope so. I'm definitely, just always trying to put my you know best foot forward for it, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I do feel so ready. Yeah. You know, I'm glad that it happened now. Sometimes totally. instead of earlier, totally. Just because I'm older and yeah. you know, I calm down in the idea that I want LA, LA to be, and yeah. more about like. Who do I want to be? So whoa, yeah. Fuck, I wish I had a mic to drop it. Oh, man, do. fucking yeah, there it is. <laughs> that was the <laughs> grossest mic drop. Like, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Cab out. Hopefully Drake does not see this. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Mmm, <laughs> Zoa. Thanks, Rock. Guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Hope you enjoyed that episode. It was a good one. A lot of laughs, a lot of tears, a lot of. Uh, stuff to uh to think about and chew on huh because that's what life's all about chewing on the good stuff nobody said that maybe denzel did maybe tom hanks did maybe they said it together in philadelphia the point is click subscribe right here on the aln logo so you can get more episodes and stay up to date when new content drops highlights animations clips it's all here for you baby i'll see you next time well i don't know how to blink